For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show how we can create a random delay using the random library. So you can see here, I have some blinking NeoPixels on a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit, and they are blinking and then pausing some random amount of time between a third of a second and up to five seconds. So this is a really nice thing to do for, let's say, a Halloween effect or another holiday effect or a prop where you want to have something that blinks occasionally, but it doesn't feel like it's on a regular. So here's how we do it. In CircuitPython, I'm importing the time library, board to get pin definitions, the random library, and NeoPixel. I'm setting up my NeoPixels and creating a variable for the red and the off or black uh, colors that I can use. And then in my main loop, here's what I do. I fill the pixels red. I pause for just a tenth of a second. So that's how long I'm blinking on. And then I turn it back off. So the blink is regular. This is where we use random. I have a variable called pause time, which equals random.uniform. And then in parentheses, I say we can go a minimum of one third of a second and a maximum of five seconds. Then I print that to the serial port so we can see it while we're debugging. And I pause the program. So I have this time sleep pause time, whatever the random is that time. And it's going to change every loop of the program. And so that's what gives us this really nice uh, random effect where you see these lights blinking. They're not on a regular time where you're not going to know exactly when they're going to happen. Here you can see I've turned on the uh, serial output. So we know, OK, we're going to get a three second pause. Next one also about three seconds. Now we get almost five seconds. So as each, each uh, iteration of the program runs through, that pause time is going to change because of random.uniform. Now, what is random.uniform? There are a bunch of different ways you can use random. You can get integers with rand int. Uh, you can get random.random, .random, which gives you a 0 to 1. Or you can use this one, uniform, which is essentially a float value, a linear float value, uh, anywhere from your minimum that you type in to your maximum that you type in. And so that is how you can create a random blinking effect using the random library inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.